So for this video, I will show you guys how I made Hinata's wig. So here you have Raven Queen with no hair. She is currently bald because I want to model the wig after her head. She has the original Ever After High head, so it's a lot um, wider and bigger. So for the wig cap, you are going. Um, what I'm going to use is. Um, saran wrap, so you just have plastic to protect the doll. An old t-shirt or rag or whatever that's pretty thin that you can layer. And also, um, Mod Podge. First, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap her head around. You can honestly use any plastic, but I just want to use this so I can actually see the doll and Raven. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take an old fabric. So I have this t-shirt over here that's really thin. You can almost see through it. We're going to cover her head like this. I'll cut it up and then, so yeah, we're going to use this and then put glue on it and keep layering the glue and this is actually going to be our wig cap. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Mod Podge and we're just gonna make this wig, this wig cap a little harder. So I'm gonna try and layer this three times. This is my second time until we get a really, really hard cap for the wig. So I just finished with her um, wig cap over here, if you guys can see this. And um, as you guys can see, I just cut off the entire thing and made a shape for the wig cap. I also made lines here um, for the bangs and also where I want the part to be in. And um, yeah, so you can just take it off and it's pretty flexible still until we put in our wefts of hair. So next I'm going to go ahead and make the wefts of the hair. So the next part is making the wefts. You don't necessarily have to make this, but I have seen that people make this and it looks much better because you can actually control the hair. Yeah, you can just go ahead and glue the hair straight on. Doing this step makes the process a lot easier and better. Um, so yeah, so what I have here is the hair that I ordered from dollyhair.com. I will link their website down below. So this is Midnight Blue and Raven Black. So I told them to actually mix it for me for Hinata's hair. So there is actually blue and black in there together. I ordered two of them just in case. And I got the Mod Podge here, which is matte. I don't think it matters if it's matte or gloss. So this setup, um, I find is the easiest. Some people actually glue it using their fingers. They'll like take the wefts and then glue it together like this. I hate using my fingers directly. And so I'm, I'm going to try and do is create um, sections with glue and just slap all of the hair there. And then after it's dry, take it off and then cut it. So as you guys can see, I finished with the entire packet over here. So I finished the first bag and this is what you get, this entire thing. Um, obviously there were 
few strands that was wasted. I'm not used to dealing with hair like this yet, or at least this material. Um, but now we are finished. I'm going to do the second bag. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to take the hair like this. See how easy that was? And now you have our tracks, if you say. So you can comb it and brush it and all that. Um, and what you're going to do is pretty much cut this individually. So this is a weft and I just pretty much cut it So this is how they look. I'm not entirely sure if one bag like this will actually fit the head yet. Um, you know, I'm not sure. Um, I feel like, you know, just judging by it, it might, um, just roughly. But it's always good to have extra material and extra hair, um, I think. So let's go ahead and start gluing it to our, let's go ahead and start gluing it to our wig cap. I kind of trimmed them to make them look a little better. They're not as um, messy looking. Um, and this will help with application. Um, so let's go ahead and start gluing them on. pretty much used up all of my webs. So since this is my very first wig, there were a lot of mistakes, I think, and a lot of trial and error. And so dealing with the material is hard, gluing it properly is also hard. For the most part, it's not too bad. One mistake that I did was I made the back really, really heavy. I paid attention so much like towards the back where you can't even see the inside really just because it's so thick in there that you don't see the white part that's how you know that i layered and i did such a good job in the back when i should have paid attention more in the front i did the front last so i was kind of like running out of wefts and um yeah but let me go ahead and trim this really quick so that we can actually see raven's face So I am officially done with this wig. Oh, I'm looking at it in the camera. I love the color. I love how the shine is blue and you know, it's black at the same time. Um, this is how it looks off. So you can officially take out the, the wig cap. What I found really cool is that, you know, you can change how you want the bangs to lay. So I can even have it like that for more of a high fashion look. Um, or really like deep like that, which is kind of cool. I like it like this. I prefer it like that. So for my first wig, I don't think it looks too bad. So the top of this wig is actually painted. I painted her roots black just so that I can hide the glue marks and it just fades to the actual color of the hair, which is black and blue. Now I know what to avoid the next time I create a wig and hopefully with practice and with time I'll get better. Let me know down below if you guys know how to make wigs, if you have any tips or tricks that I can use for fu for the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you guys like the wig and let me know down below what you guys think of my very first wig. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!